got an SB antenna over there. Turn it off and we knock out the cartel's comms. Whatever you're working on, I've got a mission coming through that takes top priority. What do you need? I'm tasking you with support for Operation Watchman. Support? I know this guy. Don't give him any shit, or he's liable to feed you your own liver. Patching him through now. Nomad, this is Matchwood. How do you read? Matchwood? I read you five by five. I'm in country without my usual team. A girl says you're pipe hitters who know the neighborhood. You tell us what you need, we'll make it happen. I'm gonna want somebody to watch my back. I'll drop you a line when I'm in position. Roger that. Look, this is not the time to be playing cowboy. Tread lightly, don't drop any bodies unless I give you the word. You copy. Understood. This is a stealth op. Yeah, match what out. Looks like we're riding shotgun with Sam Fisher. <laughs> Bowman, this is Nomad. We're on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre, and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job. But the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yayo. Buddy of mine. He went to Paladin 9 Security. Worked with Fisher on a K&R in South America. Said he was a real hard ass. But not a guy you invited for dinner with the family. I guess he's had it rougher than most. Lost both his parents when he was a kid. And apparently, somebody faked his daughter's death. He's been shot, stabbed, tortured. That bastard's still ticking. Like Rasputin or something. And that takes something powerful. Keep at it after all that shit happens to you. The Fisher has spent decades walking side by side with death. That's tough. Sometimes. And I think about the bad things we do for the good of our country. We travel overseas, take some lives, ruin others. Uh, I'd do it all again. In a heartbeat. But I still don't know if I'd go as far as Sam Fisher does. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on El Emisario. Bowman, we've shifted ops to Caymanis. What have you got for us? For the past couple of years, the cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the U.S. Best we can tell, these subs follow one of the tributaries up to the Amazon, then into the Atlantic for a transit to the Florida coast. Jesus, it's a couple thousand miles. Exactly. The man running the program is called El Cerebro. We've got almost nothing on this guy. Rumor has it he's some kind of genius, a real mad scientist type. We know he's been ordering all kinds of military-grade electronics to upgrade his subs capabilities. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, 
as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine fleet, take them out. Let's put some hurt on El Cerebro and see how he reacts. Hold on. Heads up. Get some. 